Hey folks, this is Ben Gessel. How's it going? Um, so, I'm just dog sitting right now. and uh, So this is not my regular place. And I have a few thoughts about a few um, movie series that I've been watching. And the first one is uh, Stranger Things, which I've now seen all three seasons of officially. The third one, maybe not quite as super closely, but I, I know in general the story arc. So Stranger Things was a good show. On a scale of 1 to 10, it ranks very high. It's at least a 9, if not higher. I mean, it's for all practical purposes, it's as far as these kinds of things go, it's um, the only thing I can compare it to. I mean, it's up there with Karate Kid for me. Which I haven't seen all the Karate Kid episodes, but I will. Of course, on August 29th, when it's going to be available to everybody for free. Oh, did I say the Karate Kid was going to be available for free <laughs> on YouTube? I did. On August 29th to, like, September, I'm not sure what date. You guys should look it up if you want to see Karate Kid. For free, the first two seasons on YouTube. And they're hoping that some people want to stay with YouTube Premium after this, but anyway. Maybe, maybe not. So, there's always a question. It's a, for me, it's a question of what else are they offering. Only one show doesn't quite sell it for me. It has to be a number of them. Okay, that's that are they are really good. So the thing is, is that was a great movie. Um, kind of saw in general what where the story would go. I, I kind of did. And there's still some of it that we don't, there's still a lot of stuff that we haven't fully understood yet, of course, but it's kind of a, it's a Steven Spielberg thing, I believe. No, I'm sorry. It's not. It's, it's, for me, it's a little bit similar to Falling Skies in some respects. Either it's the Duffer Brothers. The Duffer Brothers are in charge of Stranger Things. Yep, sorry about that. Stephen King is Falling Skies. But there are some definitely some similarities in the overall story arcs and, and kind of what's involved with it. But anyway, so it's a totally different uh, note. There's this. This is all Netflix. I don't. I don't get Netflix. My my place. So this is all Netflix stuff that I haven't seen before. I haven't. I mean. I have, but I have to go to other people's houses to watch it. So I don't see it very often. Anyway, I used to have Netflix, but not, it just wasn't, wasn't, wasn't worth it for me. But so this other show I was watching, Hell, Haunting of Hell House, um, it's a kind of a series of, of, you know, movies. It was one of the hardest <sighs> series for me to actually follow. It was hard. It was very hard. And I, I just, I couldn't follow every little thing about it. We're talking flashbacks randomly here and there. We're talking about ghosts and, and people that are alive and the confusion of those two um, beings at times because this is always very clear who's a ghost and who's, who, who's dead and who's alive. And there's also, the question of if it's something that you're watching is someone's dream or if it's a real life. So there's ghosts versus real, you know, live people that are alive. There's dreaming versus real life. And then there's flashbacks versus, you know, this, you know. So there's all these, I just, oh man, I was like, I have no idea what's going on right at this moment. Yes, I have a general idea. And there are some things that kind of, I was following it close enough, close enough to kind of see the overall nature of the movie, but yeah, it's they're kind of I I don't really know what to make of it. I mean, it kind of I, they're part of the whole show was involving drug addiction or someone recovering from drug addiction. Some of it was. Just family infighting. Some of it was, 
the mom going a little bit nutty because of forces at work in that house and and how it affected the kids and everything. And then some of the movie was just kept going back and forth from when they're kids to the adults. It was just very random. I didn't even know that these um, people that were adults were the grown-up versions of the kids until some, I don't know, <laughs> was, and, and, you know, yeah, the, there's a, yeah, anyway, along with the drug addiction with controversial subjects, they, yeah, this is the nature of the world we live in, but it's very current events, um, very current, everything about it's very current, so, um, you have interracial relations, of course. That's whatever, but but even more to the point, it's lesbian. It's lesbian, but there's also much more to all this than just these more modern things that are very much a part of our life that are just you know would would be unthinkable in earlier times, but. Um, Along with all that, there's, and I'm emphasizing the lesbian thing, of course. Um, <sighs> it's the it's the it's the level of profanity, and kind of just rough behaviors. In other words, the haunting of Hell House had moments that were great, but it's it's a very 2010s or it's just it's just everything about it is very current uh culture of the United States. It's very um I mean it's dark. It has some darkness to it but but it's also kind of gritty and it's also kind of um what you end up getting is kind of a feeling of there's evil coming you know into at this family from multiple fronts so it's kind of like it had the supernatural bent to it but it also had all these other things that were going on that were just it was just kind of like oh man this family is just trying to hang together and stay tough so it made it very relatable that way because um that's how it is for most for a lot of us you know that's what we try to do, but the the ending of the at least the first season seemed really like just this was the most jarring thing of all. So it was supposed to be kind of gritty, realistic, you know, kind of thing. Well, along with supernatural stuff, you know, and they kind of did this. The there were some things that made sense that I won't get into right now that made the whole thing can wrap up and happier, but it felt very Disney-ish to me at the end. It felt very, some of the little some narrator is talking about how this house was not as evil as we might think it was because, I don't know. <laughs> I just, at that point, I was just like, I have no idea. I have no idea. By the way, I mentioned a few things before about the lesbian thing and about other stuff. You know, I mentioned this because not because these things are troubling, although I don't agree with homosexuality, right? The interracial thing is no problem. It's just it's just the, the, how they went about showing this stuff. I mentioned this before in other videos. It's kind of like <sighs> you know when somebody is doing something. In a, in a movie to kind of push some kind of uh, something, push some kind of idea, some kind of cultural thing, rather. Sometimes it's, it's not a big deal. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's very annoying. I keep seeing this over and over again with 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 movies. You know, it, it, it doesn't. They don't have to be mainstream. They can be very dependent. But it's just it's just there's a saturation. In the, in the media of um, content that is, we'll just say meant to to 
especially make conservatives upset. Maybe that's the best way of putting it. There's a lot of stuff that's like that. And, and it's, it's often how it's done. It's not what it is always. It's how it's done. I don't know if, you know, but this, this movie series seemed to reflect this more liberal mindset that, you know, is very common. Um, how did I feel about all that stuff? Again, not a big deal because it's everywhere. <laughs> you know, unless you see something by your camera or something, I don't know. But it is just kind of like, why? What was the point? What was the point of the lesbian relationship? That I have, that's the, my main point. Is what was the, what was the point of that? Uh, do you have to have lesbians in a story or a movie to have it be more realistic? Is that something that we want to see more of? Look, you can say what you want to about all kinds of stuff that is civil rights era stuff or all that other stuff, racial stuff. That's whatever. But I, I mean, when it comes to homosexuality. Like that kind of stuff. It's just, why would you want to promote it? Why would it, why would directors want to promote that stuff? But the funny thing is, is they just kind of stuck it in. It wasn't like a big deal, so it wasn't like the focus wasn't on it. But I'm just saying, you know, why? But but getting away from all that again, I, I, of course we all love. Uh, was it Henry Henry Thomas, the kid that played E.T.? Yeah, I love that guy. I mean, I think he's a really cool guy. I really do. And I love seeing him in this, in this you know, movie series. Um, yeah, he's great. Um, there are a lot of great things, interesting things about this show. It could have gone a lot of different directions. I think it's not, they could make other seasons that might go other directions, I think. But it was a little bit of a mess, in a way. It was. I mean, it, I guess it's got really good ratings. I just, you know, a lot of people would be like, what is going on with this movie? I mean, I can't follow it. And you can, you know, but it's, it's, you can follow it. There is a, there is a, uh, you kind of, you kind of start seeing what it is, why it is that they're doing, how, how they're presenting everything and the way they are. And, um, but at the end of the first season, I think, you know, the main thing is I know what's happening with people that are still alive. Maybe that's the best way of putting it. I guess. You know, it's just, it was just so, some things are a little bit like, what? So, I don't know. If, but this is, you know, this Netflix shows, I haven't seen most of them. And I'm still not inclined to get Netflix. But it's nice being able to watch them, you know, at someone else's home that I'm watching their dog this um, next few days. Um, but anyway, I'm going to watch some more stuff tomorrow, some different stuff and do some other stuff. So, um, kind of some reviews here, but I'm going into maybe a little bit more depth with this stuff than usual. Again, I just don't like having political, cultural stuff forced down my throat. You know, it's just annoying. And this is the reason why, one of the reasons I quit, I quit Netflix is because I just felt like I was being preached to. Uh, or I was like, you know, you must think this way, otherwise you're, something's wrong with you. Like, no, I'm just going to quit Netflix. It's my choice. So I quit it. And I, I still don't want to get it. It's with, you know, um, again, that Karate Kid thing that's been on YouTube. The, YouTube's going to have to have hundreds of, of content, hundreds of different kinds of of um, movie series that are as good as Karate Kid for me to pay any money to them, or at least at least in the the double digits, at least twenty or thirty, not one, definitely not one, yeah, not even two or three or four for me to actually pay. I mean, we're talking like several at least. Because that's what I'll be watching. And so it's like, so where's the money going that you pay money to? I mean, when, I was, when I had Netflix, by the way, and I didn't think to talk about this, but it's watch, but when I had Netflix um, for a while, it was pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, after a while, it's just like, no, you know. So anyway, 
you guys leave any thoughts or comments below. I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Bye.